Paps deviled eggs. These are farm fresh eggs. They're gonna go in our blurbling water for 14 minutes. They're in. Once they have cooked for 14 minutes, I have an ice bath, water and ice. We put the eggs in the ice bath for five minutes. All right, so we're taking them out of the cold pool. I'm gonna put them on a towel. I give them a little crack, find that air pocket. They go in to our water bath and I just start peeling that shell and it's gonna come right off. We have tried every single method there is for peeling eggs. This is by far the best. Look at it. So we're gonna get all these split and then we are gonna get our yolks in our food processor because the food processor is just gonna make this mixture really smooth, which I feel is incredibly important. I'm gonna pop out our yolks. So once you get the yolks in, the important part is, is you get this mixture smooth before you start adding the rest. And this has gotta get chopped smooth. So we get this going first. Once this mixture is finely chopped and starts to get a little bit pasty, we could now start adding our other ingredients. So we add our mayonnaise. We use yellow mustard. Again, this is Paps. It's how I grew up eating them. He puts in a little splash of hot sauce that we never told my father about and a splash of white wine vinegar. Restraint is key here. Then we just get this mixture smooth. So there's two ways that you could do this. So on a spoon, you could just spoon it right in for that a nice little dollop. And this is like, to me, a little tedious. So what I like to do is I get a resealable bag. I put my mixture in my resealable bag, push it all towards a corner, and we cut off the tip. And then we just oh, that's see live. Nice. It's it's just easier. I yeah. feel like you take you take the extra 10, 15 seconds to load the bag, and then piping your deviled eggs just becomes so much more efficient. They look a little bit more elegant. I made some pickled mustard seeds. We've made these on the show before. At home, we call them Cleveland caviar because they pop like caviar, um, but they're mustard. So I just go all around. I put a little bit of that poppy Cleveland caviar or pickled mustard seeds on there. So really cute. cute. <laughs> and it's going to give it that pop in the bite. And then I'm just going to cut some chives very fine. And I'm just going to continue to hook these up. Lizzie, will you make your cocktail? Mmm. Mm. So good. Incredibly creamy because we whipped them first before we added the stuff to them. You get the pop of the mustard, a little bite of the chive. This has just a teeny bit of sweetness too, but perfect balance. Love it. 